Hey everyone, Garbage here. So this is true about pretty much everything in life, but it's especially common with video games for whatever reason. It doesn't matter what game it is, what genre, what company made it. If a game is big enough to have a community around it, there will inevitably be a handful of YouTube channels that pop up around the video game specifically dedicated to complaining about the game. Literally all they do is criticize and complain about the game. And you know what I'm talking about. If you are a part of any video game community, then you've seen these channels before. And I won't begrudge them for that. They've managed to find a way to make some money playing video games. And in fact, some of them do very well for themselves. But I think the important thing to remember here is that all of it is fake. They're all pretending to be mad about the game for the sake of views. Because think about it from a normal person's perspective, right? They're not a content creator. If they have that many issues with a video game where all they do is complain and complain and complain and every day they find something new to complain about, a normal person would just stop playing that game. It's just not worth it. A game can only disappoint you so much before you've had enough. But these people, they can't stop because it's literally their job. And so they have to lie and they have to exaggerate problems and they have to pretend like they are angry about something even if they're not. And it's not a job for everybody. I know I can't do it. A little while back, I was starting to kind of dabble into professional complainer territory, but I really didn't like the kind of person I was becoming because of it. And so I stopped because I couldn't take it anymore. I just did not have enough things to complain about where I actually believed what I was talking about. And generally on this channel, I avoid criticizing other content creators on the internet, and that will not change today. There is, however, one professional complainer that I'd like to point out, because I do in some ways respect them, and that is Blame Truth the Codfather, very well-known Call of Duty commentator, definitely is a professional complainer. That's like his main content. And the reason why I have respect for him is because he's honest about it. He has admitted on multiple occasions that he's playing up a character, an angry character, for the sake of his career. It's not real. He doesn't actually hate games that much, but that's the kind of thing his audience wants, and so he plays it up to the max. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he can feel comfortable with himself about it, but he makes it work and it works for him. Most other professional complainers, I feel like they try to appear genuine, but it always falls flat for me. They always say, you know, they complain about the game and they criticize it so much because they love the game and they want to see it improve. But that's a fucking lie because you know the minute a game stops getting views, they're going to drop it and they're never going to talk about it again. So they don't actually care. All they care about is the payout. And it just so happens that complaining pays really well. And we're not even going to get into the ones who are just generally disgusting little cowards. Again, we're not going to call them out by name. But it's safe to say that I don't think very highly of the professional complainer industry. So yeah, be careful about what kind of content you consume on the internet. A lot of it is dishonest and definitely not intended to benefit you in a genuine way. And it can be very easy to feel like Everything sucks because of all these people complaining. Even if you don't really have an issue with something, you might come to believe that you have an issue with it because you've got all of these grifters complaining and complaining about it. And I feel like your time is better spent consuming better types of content in general. But yeah, that's all I got. Leave a comment. And as always, have a nice day.